Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. So a lot of y'all have been in my DMs, honey. Wanted me to talk about the whole Super Saint and Lou situation. Now, let me be honest. I don't follow Super Saint like that. I don't know the ins and outs of her relationship. Only what you guys have been sending me over the past few weeks and keeping me abreast on. So if you guys do not know, Super Saint is the woman. She's from New Orleans and she created the uh, Crayon Case, which is a makeup line. And she became an instant millionaire literally like in one day. Everybody ran out and bought her makeup. There's like a lot of really good reviews on her makeup and everything else. So she's been going through it, honey. The last time I did a video on Super Scent, I think she was in the hospital. She said she was suffering from memory loss. Folks were saying that somebody was putting voodoo on her and that she needed to back away from her friends and from her man. It's just been a bunch of mess, okay? So now another thing that's been going on with Super Scent is that it's been rumored for months that her fiance Lou got another chick pregnant, okay? And so what's being said is that basically the chick came out and said she was pregnant and because Super Scent wants to put on this persona that her and Lou are in this happy relationship and that everything is perfect and that, you know, he's her backbone and all that stuff, um, she basically told the woman, if you have an abortion, I'll pay you money. I'll give you money in installments, but I need you to abort this baby. So the woman allegedly goes on ahead, she gets the abortion, Super Cent makes one payment and then defaults after that. She owed the woman $10,000. I think she only paid the woman like maybe three or 4,000. And then after that, Super Cent basically ghosted her. So that's when the woman came out and she basically released a bunch of receipts onto the internet showing that she was pregnant by Lou and Super Cent made her get an abortion. Honey, it was a bunch of ratchet ass mess. I'm like, what in the Crayola Crayon L is going on here? You know what I'm saying? This is some as the ratchet world turns, Louisiana style, okay? So now on top of that, what else came out is that basically um, another girl has come out and said that she's pregnant by Lou as well, but this baby is supposed to be alive and kicking and I don't know, crawling, walking, you know what I mean? Sipping out of a damn sippy cup, getting breastfed, I don't know. But basically the baby is here. And so Super Saiyan took to her Instagram page a few days ago and basically posted a home DNA test. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So she posted this home DNA test and it says, don't assume... I'll tell you guys in two to three days. So of course, two to three days passes and Super Scent doesn't say anything. So at that point, people are leaving her comments in her comment section, going in on her, clowning her, and saying, you might as well give it up. We know that y'all have been broken up. He's been fucking around on you. So then she took to Instagram Live and she just started going off. She was cussing folks out. Um, She was saying that people were hateful and, you know, just, just messy. She was like really going off on people via Instagram Live. And so after that whole debacle, honey, she then came out and finally admitted that her and Lou are no longer together, okay? And the Shade Room posted this. This was, honey, this was viral all over the weekend. So y'all go ahead and check this out. So Super Simp posted an old post that she posted seven years ago. And this is what she says. Just because you have been with somebody for numerous years doesn't mean y'all belong together. It just means that you put up with a lot of bullshit because of love and comfortability. Super. So she wrote that back in 2012, so I'm assuming she was talking about Lou as she was with him back then. So then this is what she posted underneath that. She says, as of today, I am single. Now you can laugh. Then she also goes on to post this. So much pain I'm enduring. Can't wait till it's over with. Thank you to everyone for the genuine love. I need it. She also goes on to say, I made this post because I don't need the internet trying to tell me what a single man is doing. I don't need to know his actions. We are no longer together. So Lou also took to his social media to respond. He says, never give up on yourself. You are your biggest fan. Hashtag self love. And then somebody else wrote on his picture and they said, got a little fame, couldn't handle the pressure. And then that's when Supercent comes, replies back to that person. And she says, embarrass the fuck out of me. He also went on to delete all her pictures and she also deleted all the pictures of him as well. He's basically deleted everything on his Instagram. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on there. On top of that, some people were alluding to the fact that the reason why they had a lot of issues in their relationship is that Super was really abusive and she supposedly stabbed him. So here goes an old message that somebody posted. This person named Precious Sprint says, Bia, but for you to aim for the dude's face. 
And then Super Saint replies back and she says, I'm my mama, I wasn't. I literally had the knife behind my back. He shoved my face and my reflexes was to swing, but I forgot I had the knife in my hand. And then the girl says, oh my God, them reflexes almost cost him his face. Honey. So this entire situation with Super Saint and her, I guess now ex-fiance Lou, is definitely messy, but it's also sad. And what I find funny, I feel like I'm seeing a lot of people celebrating and like I said, I don't know the whole ins and outs of their relationship. I don't know if she was abusing him or he was cheating on her and knocking up random people. I'm just going off of this shit that y'all are telling me because they're, they're not Jay-Z and Beyonce. So I, just, I don't know the ins and outs of their relationship. I haven't followed them like that to know. But I've heard a lot of things that, you know, he's just using her. He was only there for the fame. She's desperate to have a man. So she was just willing to settle. So those are all the comments I've been seeing on social media. But one of the things that did bother me about this situation is that I feel like a lot of people are celebrating. And it's really sad because it's like people will like, you know, lift you up and they want to see you do good, but only to a certain point. When she was launching her makeup line last year and it went viral and she became a millionaire, people were praising her. But just as fast as people will praise you, they will also try and take shots at you and, you know, pray for your downfall. So it's really, really sad to see some people happy and rejoicing that she's going through this pain. Now, another thing I will say um, for Supa is that I feel like she needs to be more professional, okay? One thing is you're now a business owner. You have a successful makeup line. You do not need to be on social media cussing people out, going off on folks via live stream. I'm mad when they send it to me because they make me right, but y'all know how to, but y'all know how to fucking ignore nothing, bitch. Oh, yeah. Send me that message, that shit. You know it's miserable, bitch. I can't post on the whole, I don't fucking know. Bitch, I can walk right past this old bitch, I don't know who she is, bitch. And bitch, we're going to beat up, bitch. Thanks. Can't touch nobody in this fucking truck, bitch. Watch your mind, ho. Bitch, I'ma kill you. Bitch, gonna beat that so fast, bitch. Hold on, hold on, take what she complaining now, bitch. Makes it gang shit. Make sure they ain't stop fucking playing on me, bitch. Gang that hoe. <laughs> I'm going for him, bitch. You said gang sorry, shit. Bitch, but just, 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 bitch, just, just tell your brother stop fucking playing on me, bitch. And tell his hoe stop playing on me too, bitch. <laughs> but you gotta sit in the hospital with that hoe. Ooh, ooh. Not the hospital. Martha. <laughs> Look at the toe. <laughs> What's up, to say? I'm ready to get jumped behind it because I be out. <laughs> They said, what happened? That bum ass hoe keep playing on me, bitch, and I don't even know her. I don't know her, bitch. Like, bitch, bitch, never seen her, bitch, never had no conversation with this hoe. Why is this hoe playing on me, bitch? Especially about something. Put your window up. That hoe don't fucking know me. Okay, okay. Let's stay with shit, baby. Okay. 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 Come on now, bitch, stop playing with me. Now you went too far. You play with a lot of people, but I bet you won't play with nobody else. That's it. Is. All your fucking friends and no fucking police about no fucking threat, bitch. I threatened you ten more times, bitch, but I bet you I'm gonna stand on it. Bitch, I bet you won't say my name no more, bitch. You will keep your fucking mouth shut, and I bet you I don't gotta give you a dime to shut up, bitch. I bet you I don't gotta give you a dime to shut up. I promise you, bitch. I pr this nigga play with too many people. I don't see why he's even still breathing. This nigga play with too many people. I just don't understand how people just let this punk play with him all people all day. That is how he keep his name no, relevant. Shut up, nigga. Get the punk up when nigga said we had to keep it. Oh, you ain't to touch no punk. That's dead. You can't put your hand on nobody. Nigga, sue you. Nigga, sue you.
about it. Like I understand being frustrated. I understand that the trolls, you know what I'm saying? They get thick and heavy, honey. Trust me, I've been there. But you have to carry yourself as a businesswoman first and foremost because these people who are coming and bringing all this drama to your doorstep, they're trying to pull you out your character. So that way people like me and others on the outside who don't know everything that's going on in your city, everybody's looking at this like, what in the hell is this ratchet mess that's going on? Like you don't see Lori L on social media arguing and going back and forth and all her business being put out there. So I think Supa needs to move differently maybe possibly even leave New Orleans or at least leave that area where it seems to be a lot of negativity following her. Because like I said, just a few months ago, she was in the hospital suffering from memory loss. Folks were saying that people don't put voodoo on her. You know, so it was really scary. Like the girl just woke up one day and couldn't remember anything, was in the hospital for like two weeks. You know, so I don't know what all is going on down there. But unfortunately, sometimes the bigger you get, the bigger the target is on your back. And so I just think she needs to be prayed up and realize that everybody in your face is not your friend. Everybody doesn't wish you well. She also needs to keep her inner circle super, super small because like I said, not everybody's going to be happy for you. The fact that all these women are lining up to sleep with her fiance and they know that they're together and, you know, they have no problem trying to sleep with him, have a baby with him. And the fact that he's willing to sleep with these women raw. There's allegedly two pregnancies that have already happened. So the whole situation is crazy. You know what I'm saying? STDs are real. HIV is real, you know what I mean? So he's putting her at risk for all types of stuff. You know, it's just really insane and she does not need that headache. She needs to focus on her business. She recently became a mother of two. I think her daughter is like maybe six months old. She just had a baby with Lou. So it's really sad that she's going through all this. I can imagine how depressing this is that, you know, you should be living your best life right now. You worked hard to get to this point. You know, her makeup line is doing well. She's making her money. And even in all this that's going on, good for her. There's all this drama with her fiance and all these side chicks and everything else. So personally, I say goodbye and good riddance. Don't look back. You know what I'm saying? Co-parent, do what you got to do as co-parents, but definitely move on because that's one thing about a relationship. I don't care if it's a boyfriend, a husband, a wife, you know what I mean? A relationship can bring you down or it can uplift you. And if you're in a toxic relationship, it's going to bring you down and eventually can bring down your entire empire. You have to know who you are sleeping with and you guys have to be on the same accord because that person, the one closest to you, the one that you're sleeping with can literally destroy everything that you built even before they came into the picture. So I just hope everything works out for her. I just find the situation really sad and it's really unfortunate that so many people are celebrating this and, you know, are happy that they broke up. I think if he was doing all that stuff, then yes, they needed to break up. But I definitely feel bad for her as far as her, you know, her heartache and what she's going through. Now, as far as the abuse claims, I don't know how true that is. That's just some stuff I was seeing online. But the whole situation is insane. But I just need Super to focus on her business because that's what's important at the end of the day. It's about her building that generational wealth to leave to her babies. Men, they come and go, honey. Trust me, okay? But those babies are yours forever. And that business is yours forever if you maintain it and you carry it like a professional business. But if it's a bunch of drama and mess attached to the business, eventually it's going to turn people away. And your goal should be to be mainstream and to be something that people look to as a brand for all people, no matter the race, the gender, things like that. You don't want them to look at your brand and equate it with ratchetness and, and ghetto and, you know, infidelity and drama on social media. So that's the only thing that I would tell Supa is to just make sure that she's really tight when it comes to her brand and she doesn't let all this outside stuff affect what she's worked so hard to build, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Supa and Lou breaking up and social media having a field day, honey. Did you guys see this coming? Did you guys know that this was going to happen? Are you a fan of Supa? Did you guys follow the relationship between her and Lou? Did you see this coming or are you shocked? And then how do you feel about just all the drama that she's involved in? Because it seems like now she's more known for drama on Instagram with her fiance than she is for her makeup line. So last but not at least honey make sure you guys hit that subscribe button make sure you thumbs up the video and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you can be down with the notification squad so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces